three, two, one, we're on. Hello everyone, welcome to the interview number eight of the Marine Talks. Today we are in the beautiful town village of Raglan and I am next to Ed Atkin, who is the director of Ecos. Ecos is a marine consultancy and research company based here in, in New Zealand, in the West Coast, in Raglan. And we're gonna ask uh, Ed a few questions regarding what they do. And yeah, it's gonna be a good interview. So Ed, thanks for being here. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you, Kai. For uh, some time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be out on our uh, our sunny deck in, yes. in, in, in Whale Bay, uh, surf, surf stumping, might settle down <laughs> settle down a little bit later on and we'll be able to get out there on the high tide hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm one of four directors of Ecoast, um, which is a, a, a small consultant, a relatively small consultancy based in, in New Zealand. Um, my background uh, is that I studied um, marine engineering Right. Um, and marine science. This was in the UK in Cornwall um, for the first for, for you know three to four years um, before having a large break and travelling and surfing around the world. And then went back and studied oceanography at um, the University of Southampton at the National Oceanography Centre there. And uh, I suppose my my focus is on coastal processes more than anything else uh, despite the fact I studied large-scale oceanography and paleoclimate change and, um, and primary production and marine biology yes. um, my focus has always been really on coastal processes because that's where we spend most of our time um, and through uh, you know the love of surfing it's um, yeah, my, my, my real uh, uh, passion in the, in the sciences is surf, yes. surf science and um, and then in uh, about ten years ago, I uh, got the opportunity to move to New Zealand, and um, and uh, shortly after that, we set up a small company between uh, four good mates, uh, and ended up uh, consulting. The work we do uh, is is pretty broad, I suppose. We um, we we do a lot of work for for uh, authorities, so regional authorities or district authorities, so um, councils. Um, we also do a lot of private work for, um, for, for new developments and things like that. So um, it could be a, a new build on the coast of a, a private residence, but it could also be the um, design and construction of a, a, an entire resort. You have quite a bit of an holistic uh, approach, right? Or tools like you have different experts within Ecos that can tackle. Yeah, with lo with, with plenty of crossover as well, and yes. then beyond beyond our um, our set of directors and then our staff, um, we have a, a lot of associates. Um, right. We have a saying where we, uh, you know, say stick to your knitting, which is don't step outside of your area because there's always someone that's actually really good at, yeah. at dealing with specific um, specific disciplines. And um, and so pulling those guys in is really important to us, you know, the collaboration to, to ensure that we've got the best team uh, delivering uh, is is what creates a good product, which is, you know, first, first and foremost for a consultancy, yeah, yeah, yeah. which should be first and foremost for a consultancy is, uh, is providing a good product yeah all right so generally speaking uh, in many as you, you said you did oceanography in many countries oceanography or coastal oceanography is mainly being tackled by universities or ch uh, research uh, well university ch chair groups uh, research funded uh, agencies how have you guys with the ecos managed to you know get a role within all those big players yeah. and also take those projects yeah, so that you're right, and then a lot of countries, um, oceanog or oceanographic and, and, and coastal processes uh, and, and very sort of core science-based uh, projects are often dealt with um, those government bodies uh, and, and universities. But there are also a lot of large engineering, I mean really big multinational engineering companies that have, have their, their guys, and, and you know, a few of those are actually born out of those universities yes. um, and, and so they've always had that backing from, from, from day one. Uh, in New Zealand we have uh, quite a specific um, uh, legislative background where we have um, where we have policies that are dedicated to the preservation of, of our coastline 
and and so there are steps that have to be taken to um, by by anyone wanting to undertake a specific activity in the coastal environment there's there's steps that they have to take to ensure that they're not going to have a detrimental effect yes. now those projects or those developments or those activities they range in scale and for a um, a large research institute to to pick up a small scale project yes. doesn't make any it's, it's not economically viable right. so there's there's scope within New Zealand for for this type of work for smaller companies uh, New Zealand is conducive to and encourage small scale businesses as well so within ecos what is your project portfolio could you name us like five main pillars that you guys are working on at the uh, moment? yeah or? so um, there's 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 a lot of our coastal hazard stuff that's a, a coastal hazard assessment is essentially part of every, almost every piece of work what we do. All right. um, our, our approach is um, for every piece of work we do is understanding the environment we're working in first and foremost, mm -hmm. so that the, the decisions are informed by that understanding. Um, and, uh, and that range is, you know, the, the, the range of port, the portfolio, the range of projects we work on is, is it's huge um, because we have everything from expert biologists through to the tsunami inundation, surf science. Um, we look at uh, sediment transport. Wow. Um, and, and, and so in terms of a few projects that we're, we're working on at the moment, we have uh, uh, climate change adaptation. Yes. Um, one of the projects we're working on at the moment is Tonga and looking at their coastal hazards around the entire main island. Uh, Tonga is one of the Pacific Islands, guys, close to, you know, to New Zealand in the Pacific. Just so yeah, and that's and that's tsunami. That's everything from tsunamis to uh, wind-driven waves um, to swell, right. um, uh, um, rainfall, and everything. It's a it's a multidisciplinary uh, project that we've teamed up with a, um, a few other consultants with. Um, we're always working on uh, sort of beach management strategies yes. for for hotels uh, and resorts, uh, especially in Fiji. We do a lot of work in Fiji. 50% of that work you could say is from dealing with uh, historical mismanagement, yes. um, you know, building building rock walls where they shouldn't have built, been built or groins and things like that, um, and coming in and trying to reinstate some kind of natural processes. Um, and then the other part is, is brand new developments as well, where um, they have visions for um, say putting a beach in where there historically hasn't been a beach and then and, um, essentially managing those expectations um, coming up with a design that can deliver or uh, work towards a design that can deliver those kind of um, those kind of assets to the, to the resort um, uh, but setting up a management strategy that maintains that maintains you know the asset they want to put in place but at, not at the cost of uh, existing resources and yes. things like that so right. we are putting together a survey to um, determine surf breaks of regional significance in Southland All right. um, and helping Environment Southland on, on, on that project wow. um, which is quite That's cool work, eh? yeah that is a lot alright so Ed I have a um probably the last question of this interview. Do you have any advice for people who are trying to pursue um, a career in marine science, whether it's oceanography or another science, that are willing to, once they finish uni, get into the private sector like what probably you have done? Yeah, so first of all, you've got to be top of your game. I can't, I, I can't really see anyone succeeding in, um, in a commercial capacity without being, um, you know, getting solid grades and, and, and working extremely hard. Um, I, I think a, a big uh, focus, and I learned this when I was at university or went back to university, was, was on internships. So gaining that experience before you've even left university, gaining that commercial, what it, what it means to work on commercial projects before you've even left university um, is, is really important and it's um, it also allows you to to use the tools that you've been given yeah. at university in a in a more applied sense, um, and there's a lot of value in that, and it's and it's um, it's it's looked on looked upon um, really well by 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 um, you know uh, commercial entities. Yes. It, it, it's what I did. I wasn't going to, but it's what I did, and it, and it really gave me a leg up um, in terms of opportunities coming out of of of, of studies. Yeah. Perfect. 
Ed, thank you very much for your time. No, you're I hope welcome. You guys keep on having amazing projects, and yeah. If you want to mention some of your social media or where people can really look at your jobs or yeah, well, there's a, there's our website www.ecos.co.nz. Yes. Um, we're on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and Instagram. Um, Ecos. Ecos un underscore NZ, I think. Um, no I don't deal with that department, unfortunately. <laughs> or fortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for your time and stay tuned because more videos are coming. Yeah.